Hello and welcome to the Reiki Gym Wellness Channel. And today we're going to be doing a guided meditation with the heart chakra space and heart chakra gemstones. And this is part of an ongoing series about the entire chakra system and the crystals that can help support those chakra energies. And if you're interested in watching the entire series, I will link to the entire playlist in the eye above. And if you haven't already watched the video, Heart Chakra and Crystal Healing, then I'll also link that in the eye above so you can reference that. And part of this series also is uh, interacting with others. So I do have a private Facebook group for this chakra series and I'll link to that in the description below. But before we get started, there's a couple of things that I recommend having nearby. And the first is a journal so that right after this meditation, you can write down anything that stood out to you, anything that rose up for you as you sat through this guided meditation. And so that's anything that feels really familiar, comfortable, or really triggers you or that you know that you're denying, then write that down and then refer back to the heart chakra and crystal healing video so that you can try to find out which gemstones will help support you in your heart chakra practice. Then also, if you have a pink or a green gemstone nearby, then you might want to go get that and put it next to you. I'll be using rose quartz today. And then finally, a comfortable seat. So this could be on a cushion on the floor, in a chair, or outside directly on the ground, just as long as you can stay alert and comfortable for about 10 minutes during this guided meditation. So if you have your comfortable seat, I'm getting there. If you have your comfortable seat and you have your gemstone available, then let's begin. So I invite you to close your eyes and start taking some slow, deep breaths. And bring your awareness to your breathing and how it feels to breathe today. Specifically with the heart chakra area, like is there any tightness or do you feel like your lungs and chest can open easily for breathing? And bring your awareness to your physical body, your emotions, and your mind to check in with what's going on with you right now. If you're feeling any physical sensations that you notice or some emotions with you or, or thoughts swirling, and we're not trying to change anything or make anything a certain way, we're just checking in to see what's going on with you right now so that we can notice any differences later on in the meditation. remember bring your attention to those parts of your body that are touching your chair or the floor beneath you and remember that you are sitting on top of the entire earth that you are supported by this the mass of the earth you're sitting right over its center and you're in direct contact with the energy of the entire earth so it will support you 
and protect you during this meditation today. And then to pick up your pink or your green gemstone and place that in your non-dominant hand. This is your receiving hand and will receive the energy of the gemstone during the meditation today. And take a minute to, to feel this gemstone in your hand, whether it's rough or it's tumbled and smooth, Feel its surface texture and its weight in your hand. Take a minute to get to know your gemstone. And then notice if there's any changes in your body, your emotions or mind since you've picked up the gemstone. Does anything feel different to you? And locate your, your heart chakra right here behind your chest bone, your, your breastbone right in the middle and then imagine an energy swirling over this area and as if you had a clock sitting right on that area energy swirling in a clockwise direction and without putting too much mind or thought into it then um, you know just picture how the energy is flowing is it is it flowing small and slow and tight, wide and open and fast, or somewhere in the middle. Just see what naturally comes to your mind about the energy and watch it flow. And as you hold your stone and you sit with this swirling energy, then consider the following scenarios that are related to the heart chakra and how it might apply to your life right now. Do you feel like you're worthy of love? Or do you shy away from it? Are you always in love? Are you always seeking out love? Is it always in your life? Do you feel like you may sabotage relationships to protect yourself? Do you have strong relationships with family and friends? Or is there a distance? Are there emotional wounds are still causing you suffering? Or maybe that you've been denying or ignoring? these life scenarios are within the realm of the heart chakra. And if any one of these situations stood out to you more than the others, then bring it back to your heart and to your energy. And we're going to sit with it for a minute or two while you hold your heart chakra gemstone. And 
heart chakra issues can be a little sensitive and if you start to feel overwhelmed then you can release the issue but if you can sit with it for a minute or two then do so so you can see how the energy of the gemstone may shift your feelings about the situation Notice if anything changes about the way you feel about that situation as you hold your heart chakra gemstone. Coming back to notice if anything's changed with your, your body or your emotions or your mind state since you started this meditation. We're not trying to fix anything or make anything any certain way, just noticing any differences. seeing that situation and the, the image of the heart chakra energy just and putting the stone down and maybe shake out a little bit just to release it and just come back to your breathing. And when you feel ready, then open your eyes. <sighs> Thank you so much for joining me today for a heart chakra guided meditation. And I hope that you found this useful. And if you do, then these meditations are meant to be repeated so that you can start allowing the energy of the heart chakra gemstones to improve your heart chakra energy. And so this is an excellent time to take out your journal and start to write down anything that rose up for you during this guided meditation. And then to go back to the heart chakras and crystal healing video to determine which gemstones may help you. Now, this is the one chakra in which there is only one set of gemstones, pink or green, but you can help determine whether you need help, more help with love or more help with healing by watching that video. And if you do want more heart chakra gemstones in your life, then I do have tumble gemstones, bracelet and gemstone sets, and heart chakra pendants, and the links to those will be in the description below. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, if you're new to the channel, I post about a different gemstone every single week. Both these informational videos about gemstones and guided meditations with the gemstones 
this entire chakra and crystal healing series and also about birthstones and crystal healing. So make sure to subscribe if you'd like to learn all about different crystals and you don't want to miss a single one. So thank you very much and I hope to see you again next week.